conversation with others. And that's really essential for a learning community. When you're trying to figure out how your ideas relate to somebody else's ideas, it enables you to understand those ideas better, and it also enables you to deepen and sharpen your own thinking. So we need to show to our readers that we very carefully considered what other people have written and said and thought about in relation to our topic. So with plagiarism, I think sometimes students want to hide that they have read others' work or engaged with others' work. But again, that's the heart of academic learning. Um, the problem is if you don't give credit to the people whose ideas and thoughts have influenced your own. And that's where plagiarism comes in. Because plagiarism is just a recycling of what's already been thought and said. It's not adding to knowledge. So in a way, it's impoverishing knowledge production. Because again, the way that we advance knowledge is by grappling carefully with what other people have said. So we're questioning, we're um, complicating, we're comparing new things, we're bringing different ideas into conversation with what somebody else has said. And that's how we develop new insights and new ways of thinking. It feels really devastating as a teacher to learn that a student has plagiarized. There's a real mix of emotions that often come flooding in at the same time. An initial reaction on the part of the teacher is often a question of, how did I fail the student? How did I fail to give adequate guidance and support so that the student could successfully complete this paper? And alongside with that emotion, there's often a feeling at the same time of being hurt or betrayed. Why would the student choose to be dishonest with me or try to fool me rather than asking for my help. I've tried to make myself available and tried to emphasize all the resources that are available for students from me to the Sweetman Center for Writing to other students in the class, other instructors. And so it can feel sort of hurtful that a student is making a dishonest choice in the face of everything that we're trying to give as teachers.